Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So here is the promised blog sale video. Uh, I wasn't sure whether um, I'm going to be selling any of this until very recently. I've decided I want to buy two very expensive items uh, this year. One of them being the Rosetta and the other being the Cartier uh, watch. And they're quite pricey items and especially the Dior saddle bag will kind of replace a lot of my items uh, in my collection I believe and there is just a few things laying around that I really haven't reached for so I wanted to let go of these items first before I buy anything else new so I know a lot of you have some of these bags on your mind so I'm going to let go of most of these for a pretty good price on eBay and I will link all of the items below. Um, I'm going to list all the items before the video gets posted. And it's unlikely that any of them is going to sell before the video goes live. But if you see that the item sold, it's been sold before the video has been edited and posted. So I hope you guys understand. But otherwise, if they are all still available, I will link all of the handbags and SOGs I'm going to talk about here uh, in the description section down below. So. Um, for some of these, I will have a uh, make offer available, so please be respectful. If you have something on your mind that's like somewhat little out of uh, your budget, if you want to see if I can accept your price, please go ahead and make the offer. But please be respectful that I price these items based on how much I need uh, to fund the items that I'm wanting to buy and how much these back currently retail for. And all these items will come with original packaging, uh, including dust bag and boxes and like a shopping bag if I still have it around. Um, and I will attach an original copy of the receipt if I can with all my information crossed out as well. So if you guys find this video uh, fun and see if you have anything um, out of these that you wanted to add to your collection. And the first bag I'm going to be selling is the Goyard Minyangju. Um, I did a review of this bag very recently, talking about how I don't reach for this because this does not have crossbody strap. Uh, as a mom to a very active young boy, bags do, that do not have at least shoulder strap that can comfortably go over my shoulders or a crossbody strap, it, it's a no-go. So unfortunately, this bag it just doesn't work out for my lifestyle but for those of you out there who have grown children or do not have kids yet and you're looking to buy this it is still a good bag um, i'm going to let this one go because i just don't reach for it if you're curious about the wear and tear of the bag i will link it up above and down below so you can really get in the details of how the bag is looking uh, for me, I would say this is in excellent condition. There's no real scratches or anything like that. There's some dust inside. I will clean it out before I ship it to you. Um, all the detailed shots um, of the bag will be inserted in the eBay listing um, along with the price and everything like that. Um, but I will include more of a detailed shot of the bag in a more of a close-up video so you can see uh, more detailed wear and tear of this bag. But I'm here to tell you there's no cordon wear, there's no scratches inside. Uh, the only thing is that the pouch, I have used it as a wallet. So because the wallet is made with canvas material, it has loosened up a bit. Um, the when you first buy it, it's very, very tight um, because it's made of like the rigid canvas. But as you use it, it becomes a little bit more malleable and that's how it's looking right now. And then the next bag I am letting go of, I cannot believe this. Um, because I've loved this bag for so many years is the Gucci Dionysus. Um, this bag has really served me well for the past four years. Um, but honestly, I think I am ready to swap out this one with something with gold hardware. Um, on being honest here, um, I think if I bought the Gucci Marmont and the small or medium size, I think I would have carried that one a lot more and I would still be carrying that because I don't care if it's out of style. Um, I don't see that bag everywhere or anywhere around here and it's more of the malleable style and I think it fits a lot more. I think this bag is a little bit inconvenient for me to carry as a day-to-day -day bag um, just because it's very rigid and the strap isn't very comfortable and as I said this bag is very edgy and very chic but I'm looking for a bag that has gold hardware um, which is why I'm really pining after the Dior saddle bag right now. Um, it's also in excellent condition. Honestly, the leather 
has no faults at all, although I've carried the crap out of this for the last four years. Um, the glazing also is in excellent condition. There's no uh, cracking or anything like that. I think there are some spots where it has some uh, nicks and just scratches. Um, there is really no corner wear on the glazing either. Um, I've done a video about this bag several times. I'll link all of those down below in the description box if you're curious about how the bag has been wearing. But this bag is amazing. I think the quality of this bag is like the best out of all the bags that I currently have. So I'm sad to let this one go, but like if I don't use it, right, it's just sitting on my shelf and just collecting the dust. So about to let this one go um, just to kind of buy something else. And inside it is also pretty clean. There's no like panics or anything like that. Um, very clean. There might be some dust and some maybe scratches, but I don't really see anything in here. And that I still have the little tag in the middle compartment here. And then they have the little tag on the side and that's a little bit frayed. All right, right there, I think it's a little bit fraying just because this bag is now four years old, but still looking good as new. Um, as I mentioned, I'm looking to part way with this one just because um, once I buy the Dior saddle, I just know that I won't be using this one. And then the next one I am looking to part ways is yet another Gucci item that I have. It's the Super Mini Marmonts. I love this bag, but unfortunately now my phone is too big. So I, I have a strip full of my phone use of it in my purse or else it's just not going to work out. So with the case and pop socket and everything, it's just not working out. Um, so I'm looking to part way with this one as well. Um, this one is much newer in terms of how many years I've had this, but it does have a little bit more wear than the uh, Dionysus. I think it's just the nature of the leather this is, and it's a lot more delicate than the Marmont. So just to show you guys what all wear it has, it has a little tiny scratch on the side right there. Yeah, so there's a little bit of scratch right here. Um, let me see. And then there's a little bit of wear on the edges right here, just from wear, wearing the chain with the bag. So right there, there's a little bit of wear there. Um, back leather, I think looks fine. So does the side leather piece. If I open it, no real wear on the front of the bag either, I don't think. But the leather has a little bit of uh, wrinkling, just the nature of the leather. And then the inside of the flap um, has some scratches, I think, from the chain as well. So a little bit of scratch over there. I think that's about all. And the inside is still clean. I'll show you. Let's see if I can show it to you. Inside of leather, I think it's still clean. No pen marks or anything like that. It still has the key ring attached to it inside. So if you carry your keys, you can hook it on here. And that's the Gucci uh, Super Mini Marmont. I don't think this is out of style or anything. It's just tad a little too small for my uh, even going out occasion. I will link all of the eBay listings uh, down below and the description box. And don't worry, all of these items, I think will go through eBay authentication. So you have that additional layer of um, cut peace of mind. And if you know me at all, I keep all of the packaging and all the original receipts. So I'll be sending a copy of that with every purchase. So if you're interested, please check out my eBay listings and help me fund the items that I want for this year. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any questions about the items that are for sale, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. So happy shopping.